one, we say that we are using some money to do afforestation. That is part of the, the, the plan to really ensure that you know the forest cover is not uh, 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 we regrow it. When we are saying that we are not allowing anybody to uh, uh, to mine in thick forest, we are trying to say that we don't want to deplete our forest cover. So yes, we have resources going into those areas. That if you sit down and you look at it closely, you will see that we have some resources going into those areas. But all, as, as I said earlier on, the resources aren't many from the government side and that we need the private sector to engage in those kind of uh, investments. We have not been able to assess it. Uh, as I said earlier on, you know, that the, the, the requirements that are needed are so much that you know, few countries, if any, have been able to access it. You know, nobody is ready to give those funds very easily. You know, so yes, we have been working on it, but we haven't so far actually taken any, any, anything like that. This meeting here is about trying to access resources from the private sector to support us. So these are the moves, some of the moves that we are making towards doing that. And as this week goes along, you see that some, some private sector individuals will make some commitment. But what I'm saying is that, you know, the private sector, their motive is profitability. So you need to get projects that really can be profitable and then, you know, ask them to invest in those areas. They will not come and invest in... Uh, 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 in uh, free SHS for us <laughs> because that one they know that there's no profit in it so they will not do that. Government will focus on those ones that we think have social value and then the private sector should help us in doing those ones that have profit motives.